hi you guys so finally the whole giveaway thing is over and I can move on to other videos I got a couple requests on how to, like to do a guide for redheads uh, and gingers which is the same thing how to like get through summer or you know how to survive uh, the summer so um, that is what I'm going to do today I don't really have like a bunch of products to show you I'm, I just have um, some good advice uh, for you guys who has red hair or sensitive skin or both. So I actually just want to jump right into it and um, do this guide that I have right here. Oh, <laughs> So yeah, that is it. The first thing that I have here on my list is it says respect the sun. This is something that has taken me um, many years uh, to learn <laughs> um, and I don't I, I tell myself this every year, I tell myself, you know, the sun is very powerful, you have to respect the sun, you're not a brunette uh, who can just take, you know, all the sun in the world. Um, because actually gingers don't just get uh, burned, we actually can get like kind of sick from the sun because we're so, uh, so sensitive. So um, respect the sun, that's my first uh, advice. Don't think, oh, I can easily take an hour more, I can lay here in my sunbed easily two hours this afternoon because you can't. And it doesn't really matter how much um, SPF you have on, you just have to realize that that is not um, doable. So first, respect the sun. Second, drink a lot of water. This is um, my angel cup, isn't it cute? I love it so much. Okay, second is, there's a hair in here. Second is drink a lot of water. And you could say that the first two rules were actually kind of general. Um, for everything, but it's very very important to keep you hydrated during the summer because Especially when you're sensitive you can get kind of overwhelmed with the fact that suddenly you know you have like a sunburn um, So it's very important to keep uh, the body kind of cool down with water and keep it You know so it has something to work with if you suddenly feeling sick or something like that so water is very important <laughs> The next thing that I have to say to you beautiful redheads out there is, for God's sake, stay the f away from this. Excuse my French. Stay away from this. I love this brand. This has nothing to do with the brand, but this is what it is. Deep professional tanning oil. It has absolutely no SPF. It has nothing in it. This is pure death. We can't handle the sun to begin with, so if you just, if you put on sun oil, um, you'll just burn yourself, like, literally. I, um, I used this uh, last time I was in California, and I used it once. I was out in 10 minutes, and my legs literally had, like, blisters on them, because I'm very sensitive to begin with. I'm very white. I'm not pigmented at all, like um, other girls are. Um, so I used it, and I couldn't... I was sick for, like, four days because this just burned me so bad. So for God's sake, please stay away from any sun oil. Um, leave it to all the beautiful tan people. This is not for us. It hurts and it will burn you um, almost to death, I was about to say. And yeah, no, 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 no. Very important step in my guide. <laughs> okay, uh, the next thing that I have is also about uh, sunscreen. Um, I think that a lot of us can like relate to the fact that when you're a ginger and it's summer, every everybody around you is tan and it sucks and you are just smothered in sunscreen and you are as white as, well, as white as I am right now and whiter, um, which just, it just blows. Um, so a good idea instead of using sun cream is actually using sun spray. It absorbs into the skin much quicker. It doesn't leave you that white cast that looks so ugly and you don't feel greasy for hours which is also a big deal. And also you know sometimes uh, when you go into the pool you have to reapply afterwards and it's so much easier if you just have like a spray. Um, also water resistant is uh, great if you know that you're going to be on like a pool vacation. Um, and then you also need very very high SPF. I use um, kids um, sunscreen because it's the one with the highest SPF and it's the one that takes best care of uh, sensitive skin. 
I sometimes use SPF 7D, not 17, 70, uh, but mostly just uh, SPF 50, uh, but never lower than that. SPF 30, SPF 20 is not good enough for me. And then if you have some places on your skin where you tend to get burned or tend to really get, you know, sensitive, you can use uh, a sun stift. Um, this is like just, you know, it looks like a chapstick. But it's uh, sunscreen and you can like, you know, if you have really high cheekbones, I unfortunately have not. But if you do, you can like, you know, because those are the places that the sun hits you uh, the best. And also this can be used for your lips because actually you can get sunburn on uh, your lips uh, and chapstick is not enough. You need something. This has SPF 30 in it, but you can get them higher as well. This is just... Uh, the one I have. Um, for my face, I will always use sunscreen also in the winter, but especially in the summer, I have this one. Ah! I have this one right now that I've showed you before, which is Ola Henriksen. It has SPF 50 plus in it, and I love this um, because it is a solar active complex, um, so it really goes and protects uh, your skin. Great. I love it so much. So this one is actually just designed um, to also be great under makeup and stuff and it's really nice and creamy and moisturizing so this is a really good one for the face. But the higher the better, always the higher SPF the better. Then there is the question of after sun. Um, when you come out of the sun and if you have gotten a sun burn, it's very 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 important to take care of your body. I know that uh, the brand in America that's called Banana Boat, um, which is an awesome brand, and also this brand Hawaiian Tropic, not this one, but Hawaiian Tropic makes the most amazing after suns. I have used uh, this one from Hawaiian Tropic, which is, it has shimmer effect, it's so beautiful, I love it. Uh, as you can see, it's like super shimmery and it highlights your body, but this is actually a coconut um, mica minerals sun moisturizer like an after sun moisturizer and this has helped me really nice because it's cooling as well when you're like feeling because you've been out in the sun all day so uh, definitely use um, after sun use oil I also use coconut oil just this is not like an after sun but it's moisturizing it's caregiving it's filled with vitamins, so it's really, really important to feed your skin when you've been out in the sun all day. Also, uh, aloe vera, just raw aloe vera is some of the best you can put on, and it's something that you should always have with you, and I think it's very important, even though you don't feel like you're burned or anything, always put on after sun aloe vera or some kind of like oil when you go to sleep. Also, olive oil is really effective because it makes you soft, but it also feeds your skin with like the nutrients it needs. So very, very, very important. And also, um, most after suns will kind of like make you tan more. So it's very, very, very important that you keep your skin uh, satisfied after you've tortured it all day in the sun. And there is the thing about uh, when you're a ginger, you often feel kind of, um, when you're on a vacation, or I've always, felt kind of misplaced because I'm so white so a thing that is very good also for like mental image of yourself when you're on vacation is uh, spray tan or um, self tanning um, I have talked about this before um, but I'm going to show it to you again uh, this one from Nivea called Nivea Sun Touch is uh, one of the best um, self tanners I've ever used it is a clear gel come out, it's a clear gel like that it's amazing and it has always made me feel um, more confident about myself because let's face it, it's not funny to look like you have been in a cage all winter when everybody around you is like tanning, you know? So self tanning or spray tan is a great alternative for that. Um, if you live in Denmark, it would probably be a great idea to get a self tan when you're away instead of um, when you're here because it's very, very expensive here, or I think it is anyway. Um, so just get a spray tan or self tan yourself. Um, spray tanning obviously gives a better like result, but I think that when you do it yourself it lasts longer. Um, and also if you are wearing your spray tan, always remember to still wear your sun lotion and also still remember to do your after sun's treatment when you are done in the sun. <laughs> when you are really sensitive um, like we are, Gingers. Um, you also tend to get uh, your veins like I have uh, kind of popping out because it's really hot. 
maybe some of you also have like a tendency to feel, you know, like I talked about before, feeling kind of sick when you're out in the sun. So therefore, for me, it has been essential to have uh, something like this with me when I have been on vacation. This is a peppermint cooling foot lotion. It is from the body shop and it is actually um, just like body lotion, but it's just for... Oh, it smells so good. And I also use it on my hands um, to cool me down because I can easily get sick from the heat and from the sun and from the constant like baking. So this is a very, very great way to kind of cool you down. And also at night, if um, you have gotten a sunburn, it can be like hard to sleep because not only does it hurt, but you're also really hot all the time. So if you put this on your feet and on your hands, it will help you relax more because you have somewhere that it's kind of cooling you. So this one was from the body shop and it is called Peppermint Cooling Foot Lotion. Essential for my vacations. I love this. And then the last advice that I want to give you guys is that in your skull, where is it? Right here. As you can see. Right here where your hair is parted, and this doesn't really matter if you have a ponytail, but if you, like me, have your hair like this uh, most days in the sun, it's very, very important to put oil-free, very important, oil-free uh, sunscreen on your um, skull here. Um, and then you can go over it with like dry shampoo so your hair won't be greasy, but trust me, this actually burns also, because this is also skin and this is even maybe more sensitive because that never almost hits the sun. So that's very important too that you keep uh, your skull happy and be very gentle with it when you wash it and stuff like that in the summer because it can get very damaged and it can also um, like leads to like scale. What is it called? Scales. I think it's called scales in English. Uh, skill in Danish. Um, so you get those little flakes in your um, in your head. Um, so that's also very important, very important to protect that as well. So, whew, I've been talking a lot. I hope that you are still here and I am done now. Um, this will be my ginger's guide. This is all the tips and tricks that I have taught myself being a redhead and I still have tons more to learn. If I, while I live in the United States, um, find out some more, I will share it with you because then I will actually be out. I'll actually be this post to the sun like all the time. So I'll probably uh, learn more over there. So I hope that this helped you and helped you girls uh, that asked me to do this video. Please, again, I have to say, please stay away from sun oil. It was such an ugly experience. I was burned for days and sick and oh no. And by the way, this kind of sunscreen, this is almost ruined now, but it is a tan intensifier. It has SPF 15. Don't. Don't use it, please just be wise. Be wiser than me, don't use stuff like that. Listen to me, it hurts. So that was my ginger's guide. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it and I hope that you guys will have a great summer and that you will have a little bit more of a clue how to really protect your skin and be really gentle to it because it's way easier to ruin um, pale ginger skin than it is to ruin tan brunette's uh, skin. So please keep that in mind because you really have to be uh, good to yourself. And plus, I hate to say this, but it's also easier for us to get skin cancer than it is for other people because we're so sensitive. So please keep in mind all that when you go on vacation and keep yourself protected. So I hope that you'll have a great summer and I will talk to you guys soon.